Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me as always. It really sucks that I have to bring this video to you today and it's a pretty random one, but you got the 440 behind me right now and actually one of my neighbors hit me the other day. <laughs> so we got the 440 here looking fantastic as always from this side. Man, what a great car. And then, oh, what is that? Ew, brother. Brother, what is that? Terrible. It's gonna be like $3,500 worth of damage, I'm betting, because the quotes that I've gotten say that the inner crash bar is compromised, which is great. Luckily, it looks like the damage is isolated to the door alone, which is a huge silver lining because if it was, you know, even an inch further back, it would be the rear quarter panel that's damaged, and then it would be a whole lot more effort even with this it's gonna take a really long time so I just wanted to make a video and show you guys and kind of document the experience it really really sucks but you know the car is still drivable and at the end of the day it's just like a first world problem that I have to deal with people looking at my car knowing that it's all dented uh, kills me and actually guys I even filed a police report and everything and I had a state trooper come out and look at it and I even, you know, when it, the night that it first happened, I was checking all the bumpers in my parking lot and I'm pretty sure I identified a car that has matching damage. And unfortunately it's a white car, so it's hard to identify white on white paint transfer, but I'm pretty damn sure that it's this person. But of course I can't go on suspicion alone and neither can the cop. So luckily in the state of Maryland, it's a flat rate $250 deductible and everything else will be covered. So it's not a whole lot of money out of my pocket. It's really just the principle of the matter, you know? Like if you're gonna hit someone's car, you should at least leave them a note or, you know, be a good person and let them know what you did. And honestly, I would have been understanding enough because I know that, you know, if they were to file the claim, then it would be a collision and a higher deductible and their rates would go up. And, you know, I'm a reasonable guy. I don't want that to happen, so. I would have even been willing to just file it myself still if they would just pay my deductible, but can't even get that. <laughs> so the plan is to drop my car off at the shop later today and uh, I'll be trying to document the process as much as I can. Hope not, but if anyone else is in this situation and their beautiful BMW gets hit, you can watch my video and sort of see firsthand how the process goes. And to my surprise, Bum, 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 bum. I get a rental car. So I just picked up my Mustang as a rental. V6 EcoBoost, baby. Looking like a catfish out here. So we got the daily and the rental. <laughs> Let's take a walk around the rental real quick. God, look at that fitment. Uh, I like the, the matte black you know, aero package. It's got side skirts already from factory. That's something that I was always jealous about in the Mustangs, that it already comes with like aggressive aero. And us Beamer drivers, we just get the basic thing and then we have to add it all ourselves. <laughs> so in a couple of hours, I'm gonna be taking my car over to the shop to start this whole process. And I'll make sure to bring you guys along with me and just kind of try and document the experience. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Here she is, guys, dropping her off at the shop. I'm in good hands, though. Over here at the old Horizontal Motors out in uh, Nottingham, Maryland, if anyone's from the area. It's like Baltimore County, I'm pretty sure. Close to Baltimore. But I'm going to be dropping off the 440 here for the next couple of days to get worked on. I know I'm in good hands, though. Cause they got a lot of nice cars floating around here. They specialize in building like thousand horsepower Subarus. So definitely uh, know a thing or two about fast cars. So what do you think guys, after I get the door fixed, should I just have them build me a, build my motor? Build the motor up to be like a thousand horsepower. This is my ride home. <laughs> Could be worse. See for all my E90 people. 
getting a ride home from my buddy Steve, my buddy and like my personal mechanic who's helped me out a lot with uh, my cars. You've seen this on the channel before, but Steve's giving me a ride home with this super clean E90 335i. It's an N55, just like my old car. What up, Steve? Say something to the camera. Say, we say make, something we to We make the power here at Horizontal Motors. That's all we do. See the right hand drive RS? No. The wide body. What do we got? Wide body GT8, right hand drive. Oh, damn. Mm -hmm. I saw this poking out. I like this paint. Yeah, paint damn, right hand drive, though. That's freaking sick. If you were here two weeks ago, you would have seen Dude. the GTR and the 182. Ah, oh, they always Super, have. Super's over there in the car cover. Man, you guys always have super cool cars here. But the E90 is just looking right at home. I've got a few guys that always hit me up and they're like, what the hell, man? They think that I sold it. <laughs> like, they haven't, no one's heard from it in, 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 you know, no one's heard about it in over a year. So, well, it's not going anywhere. People just assume it's gone. Don't worry, guys, I'm going to fix it. Dude, the 440's a nice fun lot. <laughs> yeah, right. She's clean, she's clean. I said I'm good hands though, right behind that M650i. Yeah, it looks clean from this angle. I made sure to park it in the right angle oh, so that no yeah, one can yeah. see the door. <laughs> Dang, you made me, he, I was wondering why he made me clean off my shoes just now, but now I get it. Holy crap, I need these mats. Bro, what are you doing? And sport floor mats, bro. 50 horsepower, right there. Oh my God. Ugh. Things take so much longer when you're filming. Oh man. <laughs> Don't show the dash. Don't tell them what just happened. Actually, show the dash, show the dash. First thing when I get in the car, I hear All right, what's the bidding for? Place your bets, people. Is it gonna be for gas or is it gonna be because the engine blew up? Uh, it went away, you got lucky. Oh. It was an airbag. All right, headed home from the shop in Steve's uh, E90-335i. It's still uh, stage two, stage two plus. You guys know the car. It's been on the channel before. MHD, run of the mill. Yeah, it sounds like a Supra right now though. I got a broken blow off valve. So I got a Turbo Smart VR9 dual port blow off valve. Oh yeah. And I will say it sounds great, but the fitment is not, not ideal. Dude, you like to rip on this car so much, you're like your own worst critic. You're always saying how clapped this car is, but it's literally 10 out of 10 on the interior. The interior is 10 out of 10. I mean, zoom in on that right and the handle. <laughs> you can see. No, well, it's dark in here, you know what I mean? No, no, the, the interior is super clean. It's my daily. For a daily? I mean, the exterior, I would give like an eight out of 10. <laughs> All right, see you, Steve. <laughs> Got a ride home from E90 335i, and it makes me miss my car so freaking much. What's up, y'all? It's a new day. Actually, if I'm being honest, it's a new week. It's been several days since uh, since I last picked up on this video. And actually, if you notice, my car has been fixed. <laughs> so I have to apologize. I'm not doing the best job of uh, keeping track of this video, but. Uh, the main thing I wanted to do is just kind of showcase the process of what happens when something like this happens to your car. But take a look at what we got here, guys, because last I showed you this door, it was dented like crazy. And the whole door actually had to get replaced. They had my car for about a month. And believe it or not, an Alpine White F32 door is pretty hard to come by. So what actually ended up happening was the only one that we could find that was in good enough condition where, you know, it met my standards and, and you know, I felt good putting it on the car with no dents or dings or anything. The only one we could find was in pearl white. So obviously wrong paint. And I'll put in pictures if I still have them. We actually installed the door first with the pearl white paint and it was just so noticeable it mismatched like crazy which is obvious because it's alpine white on pearl white but it was actually pretty cool to see the difference between the two colors 
the pearl, uh, uh, sorry, the alpine white is definitely more of a true white, whereas the pearl white is kind of like a darker eggshell kind of white, but it has that metal burst in it. So I don't know, I, I actually really like it. Um, but yeah, so we found the pearl white door and then he sent it away to his paint guy to get paint matched. And I am so impressed with the job that he did. First of all, the body lines line up perfect. And the shadow line, if you see, lines up perfect. So the install job is 10 out of 10. Paint job matching, 10 out of 10. I'm definitely satisfied with the work. It really sucked not having my car for like a full month. As a little gift, I went and had a tint banner installed. I'm not really interested in doing like a, a decal or anything. I just like the black tint banner. I think it looks really good. And it's a subtle thing. And then also, if you notice, I replaced my V-brace covers with white. If you remember before, my V-brace covers had those blue PVC covers on them, but I replaced them with white. Shout out to my buddy Nick on Facebook. He uh, definitely motivated me to give that a try. I was getting tired of the blue. And at first I wasn't really sure about the white, but I'm telling you guys, it actually pops way more. So yeah, car's looking good. We're getting her, uh, we're getting her ready for summertime and warmer weather. Getting ready for uh, summer car meets, that's for sure. So yeah, let's take a seat. And I just wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about the whole process that I went through. Sorry if it's windy out here. You can see it's bright too. My uh, sunglasses are engaging. I've got those transitional lenses. Look at how nice this is out here. Got the geese, nice little pond. And behind me, we have the race car. Damn! Sorry this video has been kind of jumping all around and everything. Um, I'm not really doing a great job of documenting the experience, but I at least wanted to talk to you guys about what I went through and how it all went down in case your car gets hit randomly and then you have to deal with it. So, I think I already explained this before, but let me explain it again. What had happened was, uh, I'm pretty sure one of my neighbors backed into my car while it was parked at my, you know, little townhouse development, and they dented the crap out of my door that you saw earlier in the video. Nobody owned up to it or, you know, admitted fault or anything, so the first thing that I did was, you know, call the state troopers and file a police report. So a state trooper came out, took a look at the car, took a look at the damage, and you know, uh, made an incident report and all that good stuff. So unfortunately, what I ended up having to do was file an uninsured motorist claim for a hit and run incident and file a claim through my own insurance and settle it all, you know, through my insurance, which really sucks because I wasn't even in the car when it got hit. <laughs> so unfortunately, you know, those things happen and uh, I'm sure there's people watching this video right now who have been through the same thing I've been through. In the state of Maryland, it is a flat rate $250 deductible regardless of what insurance company you're with, if it's an uninsured motorist claim. Um, and I'm with Allstate, and so luckily I have you know full coverage and I have some pretty good perks like vanishing deductible and all that, so I didn't even have to pay the $250. My deductible was zero. And because it was uninsured motorist, it doesn't affect your rates. And what they're probably gonna do is recommend a mechanic shop that's within their network. Um, but it's important to note that you absolutely don't have to do that. You're well within your right to pick whatever shop you want. So if you've got a nice BMW and you don't want it just going to any shop, you have a shop that you trust, you can totally bring it there. Um, there's just a couple extra steps involved, which don't really affect you too much. So I took it to a shop that I trust to work on my car. And what happens is the insurance will pretty much work through the shop. The first thing that you will do if you're with Allstate, and I'm probably with other companies, is you will take snapshots of the accident and they will make an initial estimate. So the initial estimate on my car based on the pictures that I took and submitted was like 
uh, $1,200 or something. If I have to replace the door, that's not enough at all. Um, so don't panic because what will happen next is you take it to your shop that you, that you trust and they'll do a real estimate. They'll tear down the car and they'll make a real estimate. And in my case, it was $3,400, which is accurate, you know, which is a, a, a reasonable price for completely replacing an F32 door and painting. So I had $1,200 in my account almost immediately after submitting the photos. And then a couple days later, I brought the car to my buddy's shop. He did the estimate and that was sent to Allstate. You didn't have to send that. He sends the new estimate to Allstate. They will approve it or send out a guy to make sure that the estimate is legit and you're not you know, price gouging and trying to get one over on Allstate. So yeah guys, all in all, it really wasn't that bad. It wasn't much of a hassle to get the whole thing sorted. It really just you know, sucked from a principle point of view that I wasn't even in the car and I end up having to be the one to pay for it and it blows my mind how easy it is to be a bad person. <laughs> it's actually much harder to be a good person I feel like. So the paint shop had my car for about two weeks which really sucked. It was killing me because we were having some of the first nice weather days of the year and I was stuck in a freaking four-cylinder EcoBoost Mustang. <laughs> Which reminds me guys, as if things can't get any worse, I got freaking rear-ended in the rental Mustang. I kid you not. I was actually right by the Enterprise rental spot where I picked up the Mustang, sitting at a red light. Regular traffic, I'm like the 10th car in line, and the light turns green, and I'm just waiting to go with traffic, business as usual, when the car behind me just accelerates straight into the back of my rental Mustang. <laughs> so while my car was getting fixed because somebody hit it, I got hit in the rental. Can't freaking win. So that was a whole other headache that I had to deal with. Um, luckily it wasn't that big of a deal because it wasn't my fault obviously. And I got the guy's insurance, he was insured, and I got his policy number and all that stuff. So. What ended up happening was I just returned the car back to Enterprise when the time was right and they submitted it to their damage department. I gave them all of the other guys policy, you know, insurance info and it's just going to be done between Enterprise and the other guys insurance. So I'm totally, you know, free of, of any obligation there, which is nice and the way that it should have been. So anyway, guys, happy to have the car back. God, she's looking good. If there's one thing driving an American Mustang taught me, it's that I'm a Euro guy for life. <laughs> now, I'll give it to you, it wasn't a GT and it wasn't a proper Mustang, but still, just like the creaks of the interior and the 10-speed transmission was just garbage. I hated it. Getting back into the ZF8 is like a freaking breath of fresh air, I swear. <laughs> and now I'm definitely rambling, so the last thing I'll say before I wrap up this video is definitely expect more content to come in the future. I apologize that it's been so slow on my channel lately. With summer coming, definitely excited to make more videos. And uh, I have four brand new drilled and slotted rotors that I'm gonna be installing on my car, uh, either this weekend or next weekend, so gonna be getting this video out of the way so that I can make space for that next video and uh, other than that I'm sitting on like three other videos that I need to edit and post um, so again guys I apologize that it's been so slow on my channel but I appreciate the support and everyone who stays subscribed and definitely expect more content to come so that'll do it for this one guys hope somebody found this video informative and I will catch you on the next one peace